Thunder is the sound produced by the rapid expansion of air surrounding a lightning bolt. The science behind thunder involves the interaction of electrical discharges and the subsequent heating and pressure changes in the atmosphere. To understand thunder, it's essential to delve into the processes that occur during and after a lightning strike. When lightning occurs, a massive electrical discharge travels through the air, creating a channel of ionized gas, or plasma, that conducts electricity. This channel can reach temperatures of around 30,000 Kelvin, about 53,540 degrees Fahrenheit, in a fraction of a second. This extreme heat causes the air to expand explosively and rapidly. The sudden expansion of air creates a shock wave that travels outward from the lightning channel. As the heated air expands, it compresses the surrounding cooler air, creating high-pressure waves. These high-pressure waves propagate through the atmosphere as sound waves, which we hear as thunder. The intensity and duration of thunder can vary depending on several factors, including the distance from the lightning strike, the nature of the lightning discharge, and atmospheric conditions. If you are close to the lightning strike, the thunder will sound sharp and loud, often described as a crack or bang. If you are farther away, the sound waves spread out and disperse, causing the thunder to sound like a low, rolling rumble. The time delay between seeing the lightning flash and hearing the thunder can be used to estimate the distance of the lightning strike. Light travels much faster than sound, so the flash of lightning is seen almost instantaneously. However, sound travels at approximately 343 meters per second, 1,125 feet per second, in air. By counting the seconds between the flash and the thunder and dividing by three, you can estimate the distance to the lightning in kilometers, or by five for miles. Thunder can also be influenced by atmospheric conditions. Temperature inversions, where a layer of warm air traps cooler air near the surface, can cause the sound waves to be refracted or bent, changing how thunder is heard at different locations. Additionally, topography and urban structures can reflect and channel sound waves, altering the perceived intensity and direction of thunder. In summary, thunder is the result of the rapid expansion of air heated by a lightning bolt. The shock wave generated by this expansion propagates as sound waves, producing the characteristic rumbling or cracking sound. The study of thunder helps meteorologists and scientists understand and predict storm behavior, providing valuable information for weather forecasting and safety measures.